What's up guys, so we are going to cover souls today. So if you don't know what souls are, you eventually unlock them. The main thing is, is obviously the higher tier red souls are going to be the ones that you desire until you get to pink souls, which are your best in slot options. And you might be wondering, how do I go about getting them? How do I fuse them? And so on and so on. All right, each soul option here has different bonuses and it's going to be dependent on what class you're doing. I would say almost everybody across the board is probably going to have Bloodstained Blade just because of the attack bonus that it has provided. I think Eye of the Abyss is going to be super helpful for certain classes. Excellent Companion is going to be helpful for players that are probably playing Berserker, Warrior types. Blade Duo is going to be great for Archers. It's also got boss damage tied to it, but not a lot. And then Wildlife Piercer, I think, is going to be great for mages, specifically for players that are going to be running, like, the Prophet. I think Wildlife Piercer is going to be a huge boon. If you want my two cents, get Bloodstained Blade and get Wildlife Piercer. Um, Immortal Spirit is a huge one as well. And that one's partly for, I think, really kind of like almost every class if you want to be more tanky you're going to probably get that soul but i think even in the cases of players that are playing the profit healer method they're obviously going to want to pick up an immortal spirit as well that said you're going to basically go through the cycle of salvaging a lot of these because what you need is soul essence to be able to upgrade your red tier souls you're going to acquire them by going into the soul trial and you're going to try and go up in as high as you can in the trials until you hit a plateau, upgrade, and rinse, repeat. Soul Prayer, okay? You're going to basically get a summon every once in a while. You're going to get up to 10. You're going to rinse, repeat. You're going to eventually work on basically getting higher and higher tier loot because as you do, you will eventually have better and better drop rates because you pray more and more and more. Okay, now if you're wondering how to go about getting those, as far as souls are concerned and getting them in Legend of Mushroom, there are a couple of different ways you can go about getting them. I mean, obviously, you can go in here, you could buy, like, gems, for example, and then you could potentially go through and grab them out of packs. Like, for example, a lot of the time, like, events, like, for example, right now we've got Peppy Universe going on. You're going to get them from, you know, this event, for example, where you'll get, you know, soul crystals here from time to time. You can also probably, you know, go straight to the actual event shop itself and buy them directly from there if you want to. So you can get them oftentimes in events. Lucky Spinner is another one where you'll probably more than likely run into them that way. Mm -hmm. Again, the main general theme here is, is that however you go about getting these souls, you typically find them um, also like in, for example, if you go to the cross server match shop, you can buy soul crystals in here as well. But I would not do that until you've already gotten your Awaken crystals and your red soul selections already. But that's another place you can earn them at. Of course, you know, however you go about getting your soul crystals, the idea in principle here is, is that you're going to want to basically rank up your red souls and eventually acquire pink souls. And you just use these as boons to whatever class you're playing as. The main theme here that you'll notice is, is that there are a distinct set number of souls. And the floors and such is, it's, it's RNG based in some degree, you know, it's like you're kind of having to play with luck and trying to get the drops. Um, so it's not by any means like something that you're going to need to like stress out over. You'll, you'll acquire them just by playing the game over time relatively regularly. You'll really not have too much trouble. Something that I guess I should point out is at least in the case of souls in particular, right? If you go into your family shop, so like in my case, I'm in PR right now, you can go into the family shop and then you can also purchase them in here. And this is where a lot of people get a lot of their crystals at. Um, of course, you know, there's also like, you know, the actual events themselves. Um, you can go into Blazing Cave uh, and you can, you know, try to grab some loot from time to time there. The family brawl. Um, exchange rate, you know, you'll, you can get red soul selections out of there. So, I mean, like any of these, uh, you know, potential shops and such, the main thing is, you, you know, if you're going to get them anyway, you also want to make sure you're donating in your family hall. You want to make sure you're doing everything you can possible to basically get yourself that chance to get 
those souls that you need to be able to really work up your way up in the rankings and be able to actually compete. But that's pretty much my comprehensive guide on souls. If you have questions as to what souls you should acquire and for what build you're doing, you can ask in the comment section below and someone may be able to answer. So feel free to ask and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. All right, so pretty much you just need to follow along, and this is going to pretty much show you how to get that 5% discount on your purchases in Legend of Mushroom. So this is all you pretty much need to do is just basically install Legend of Mushroom. And you, again, you have to have Aptoid's version of this, and then of course you need to have the AppCoin wallet as well. Again, these are both in the description down below, so you're more than welcome to take a look at these, come and download them. And then once you've actually downloaded them and installed them, then all you got to do is basically open it up. And the AppCoin's wallet is basically a crypto app in a sense. But, and it's, I mean, really all you're going to do is just go to the rewards tab, go to the promo codes tab, put in the promo code that I've got down in the description, which is LM, and then you'll be able to get your 5% extra bonus on the game so you can save money playing the game.